Have you been thinking of selling your home in Dallas, Georgia today? We will provide you some invaluable tips on how to get the highest price possible for your home in Dallas, Georgia. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Hello everybody, this is Gamal here, Broker Realtor with Sturgis Realty Group. And I'm Alan Rios, I'm the Realtor with Sturgis Realty Group here in Metro Atlanta. And today we're going to talk about getting top dollars when it comes to selling your home here in Dallas, Georgia. Yeah, if you're looking to sell your home, of course you want to get the most money possible when it comes to selling your home. You want to get the top dollar, right? And especially in this market, it's such a strong seller's market, Gamal. It, it is. Uh, obviously, before we go into the details, we want to talk about a little bit about what's going on here in the Dallas market and a little bit about give you information so you, you know what's going on as far as the market, real estate market here in Dallas. All right, let's take a look at the Dallas, Georgia real estate market. And when we look at the median price of homes in Dallas, Georgia, Gamalier, we have to realize a year ago, the median price was right around 275000 we are up to $354,500 wow. for the median price in Dallas, Georgia. So the homes are selling quickly and they are selling at a very high price. Definitely, Alan. You know, obviously appreciation all through Metro Atlanta has been it's growing up, rapidly. Yes. So obviously there's a lot of opportunity, but obviously there's no better time to sell than now. Sure. And when we talk about uh, what's going on in the market, as far as supply it's only one month of supply here <laughs> in the dallas area compared to to the regular market which typically six months exactly so obviously it's a big difference and what that means is if you wanted to start putting in houses to sell in the market right now within one month everything will be sold hard to believe right you yes. take your buyers out and say sorry we just don't have any homes left <laughs> in dallas but you know with the market evolving I mean, we're hoping that by the summer, we're going to start to see more homes come on the market. But the way it is right now, we have a low supply of homes and that's leading to, you know, supply and demand issues here. Yeah, definitely. As of, as of right now, we're only averaging seven days in the market. So yep. obviously everything is selling pretty rapidly. Exactly. All right. Let's talk about some of the common mistakes that sellers make when it comes to, you know, selling that house for the highest price possible. And obviously, we have to talk about what to consider, obviously, price and condition when we talk about yes. that. Yes, yeah, price and condition is huge. If you have a house that is in great condition, obviously, you're gonna get a great price. But if you haven't been maintaining your home and just kind of letting it go, the price value for your house is definitely gonna be on the lower end. And when we look at that, obviously, we gotta look at some people that typically would do a little bit of repairs, yep. some people that do too much of repair, right? Sure, sure. So there's obviously a balance, and obviously a realtor like ourselves, professional realtor, will walk through the property and let you know what are the things that you should be doing and what are the things that get you the highest return on the property. Exactly. And with this hot seller's market, mm -hmm. we're also seeing a lot of people trying to sell it on their own. They say, I can be a realtor <laughs> and put their house on the market versus using a professional realtor like Gamalier and, our, and myself when it comes to selling your house. And I'll tell you what, a lot of them having success and that's yeah. not surprising because the market is heavily, there's a lot of buyers out there. Sure. But what they don't take in consideration is that even if you could sell it yourself, you will end up needing a lot less than using a professional realtor because of the minimum exposure you're giving to the property. A lot of for sale by owner, what they're doing is they put a sign in front of the property, they may yep. put it on one website, but that's about it for the most part. And they, exactly. do, and they do get buyers, but obviously when you compare the type of exposure a professional realtor could give you and expose your house at many angles, obviously they able to bring more offers, which equals to more better offer and more net of value too. Even without paying that commission, you're still netting more when you're using a realtor. Yeah, exactly. And so if you're selling it on your own, obviously you're gonna get less marketing, right? As Gambling yes. mentioned, you're putting one sign, maybe using a website or two out there and that's about it. That's gonna attract less buyers which is less offers and you're gonna net less money in your pocket compared to using a professional experienced realtor. Yeah, so obviously there's a big difference obviously. And that again, uh, you know, when you use a professional realtor, there's a lot of details that go behind the scene 
and they give you a lot of exposure, obviously. Exactly. And that's what you need to make your house stand out. And you want to put your house in front of a larger crowd, a larger audience of buyers that are actually qualified buyers that are looking to buy a house. But now, Alan, you know, there's a question that we get all oh the time, all the time. And yeah. that question is how to make your house stand out. How do we do that, Alan? Yeah, well, there are two <laughs> things that can make your house stand out. That's the condition of the house and then the marketing. And well, the condition of the house is maintained by the owner, right? Of the house. Correct, yes. And then the marketing is, is where we come in. Yes, that's our expertise. Yeah. And obviously when it comes to the condition, uh, we help counsel the seller a little bit, let them know what, what are the things that we mentioned earlier that you could do to get the most money, what are the things that you should not be focusing. But obviously there's things and tips that you could do and we're gonna be talking about some of those items. Yeah, so when it comes to condition of your home, you wanna make sure you declutter. Take a look at this picture of this home here, just a mess. If you do not want to walk into a room like that, um, because I mean, for the buyer coming in, and we, as we mentioned in past videos, you know, we deal with a lot of first time home buyers. They'll come in and they'll take a look at that and it's not very attractive to them. And obviously uh, when you're dealing with first time buyer, which are the majority of the market right now buying, yeah. what happened is when they look at a repair, they start counting it and yeah, unfortunately it in their head. they never bought a home they never own a home so they don't know the value or the cost of those repairs so a lot of times something that may cost five hundred dollars they may think it costs five thousand dollars three thousand <laughs> yeah. dollars to do and they keep adding the math and then they get overwhelmed and they say oh i don't want to put this is too much in repair which is a lot of times it's little things in the property exactly and you want to have great curb appeal right That's so when important. the buyer and realtor drive up to the house you want the buyer's reaction to be wow look at this beautiful home so you want to make sure that, you know, you got the grass cut, you know, your gutters are cleaned, you know, so things like that and can make your house stand out in the neighborhood. And a little also, one of the things is power wash makes a oh, huge yes. difference. And when you power wash, obviously you want to power wash the driveway, you want to power wash the house and also power the wash walkway. the driveway too. And the walkway, yeah. Yes. And you want to make sure you got that taken care of because it can make a world of difference, especially when you have, you know, the, the concrete all kind of moldy and mildewy. Mm -hmm. It's amazing what it will look like once you get a power wash, it looks like brand new concrete. And we talk about obviously condition, we have to talk about buyers and what the buyer, well, the buyers, worst things when they walk into a property, oh things that they don't like. Yeah, so I, I can explain this one based on experience, mm -hmm. you know, taking a buyer out, open up the door, and as soon as you walk in, the air hits you in the face and it's like, whoo, <laughs> they want to walk out. And I had a buyer walk out and the smell was just that bad, you know, and it could be for many reasons. And that's very important. Obviously when you're selling a home and, uh, and we're not talking about very, you know, sometimes it could be animal smell, musty smell, you know, smoke smell is another sure. one. A lot of people smoke don't realize the smell the, yeah. of the smoke. Uh, obviously those are very important when you're selling a house, yeah. uh, make the house smells well. And obviously another thing, obviously it's a home that is like Anna mentioned earlier, clutter and yeah. dirty also. Dirty is another one. Yeah. Um, you know, walking into a home and maybe you got just clothes laid out on the floor. You walk into the kitchen, there's a pile of dishes mm -hmm. that were left behind from last night's dinner. Things like that, you know, bathroom is just disheveled. You just have bottles of shampoo and towels on the floor, things like that you can take care of. Simple things like that that will add value to your house. Yeah, so obviously that we talked about condition is important when you're selling yeah. a home. And that would obviously, there's a lot of people that, that decide, okay, I'm just, don't want to do anything. I want to yeah. sell it as is. Yes, you could sell it as is, obviously, but obviously condition and price work with each other. And if it's not such a great condition and you're selling as is, then obviously the price would, you get a lot less offers and a lot yeah. less money. So you definitely want to take that in consideration. But the biggest part when selling a home, obviously it has to be the marketing. Yeah. So when it comes to marketing, that's where we come in, right? The owner is responsible for the condition of the house. We're responsible for marketing your house. And one of the big things about marketing your house is making sure that we have professional pictures, right? Yes. Versus using, say, just like a typical camera, like a, a camera phone and just mm -hmm. taking snapshots through the house <laughs> using a professional photographer. They're going to really make your house stand out. They've got a wide angle lens. They also have 
they can make your room look much brighter too, right? Yes, and obviously, uh, we're one thing when selling a home is we, we pay attention to, we're a very detail-oriented yes. company and very tech company too. So very important when it comes to selling a home, you know, a lot of people now in this are looking online, so they're looking at pictures, they're looking at going to different websites, sure. and most people look online when it comes to buying a home. If they don't see the right picture, then they're just gonna skip it and go to the yeah. next home. So pictures are very, very, very important, but obviously there's a lot of other things that happen that yeah. are important also. Exactly, and we also provide video, right? I mean, you're yes. watching us on the YouTube channel, the Sturgis mm -hmm. Realty Group YouTube channel. So we do provide videos, uh, to social networks as well. So we've yes. got social media that we really dominate. Yeah, when it comes to online, obviously we'll, we'll place your property everywhere online and sure. we we'll just post the property, not only local, but also statewide, national-wide, sure. and international marketing also. So we post your house everywhere, but we also work with relocation companies, companies that they're relocating from all around. Uh, right now, we have a lot of people coming from California, New York, coming to Georgia. So we yeah. make sure those people get to see your home. And, but when it comes to the marketing online, we definitely are very techy and we get the high exposure. Yeah, and we also use the MLS system as well. So we make sure that the house is shown to other realtors who have well-qualified buyers that they're working with to show your home. So that is another avenue. And as well, negotiating, Gamalair, when it comes to making sure you net the most amount of money, how important is negotiating? Negotiating is very, very important. Obviously, that's one of the keys when you're selling a home. Uh, but also, when it comes to the negotiating, another thing that we set so apart is that we do a mailing too. That's right. We mail to, we have a sister company that obviously- Solution what, Property Solution Management. Solution Property Management. They work primarily with investors, tenants. So they they pretty much know where all the tenants come from and where they're moving to. So we're able to market to those tenants yep. to that make sure that you get the most exposure. But pretty much we set a strategy when it comes to mailing, not just do a mail all around to people that are not going to buy your home. We do a strategy mailing. But going exactly. back to what you were saying, negotiation is very, very essential because what happens a lot of time when you have a non-experienced agent non that doesn't negotiate well, you lose a lot of money. You can, yeah, especially when it comes to like repairs. I mean, negotiation skills are key there because obviously you want to net the most amount of money for your seller. You're protecting mm -hmm. your seller. You do not want the other side to take advantage of the situation. So you need a strong agent that can keep things in control and balance it out. And obviously negotiation key, a lot of times what happens is that you have an agent they may decide to cut their commission to gain your business. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're also cutting their marketing and exposure of your property. At the end, you end up knitting a lot less because they're cutting corner. You mentioned earlier yes. about pictures, right? Uh, those pictures that they're taking with the cell phone, a lot of times you end up a room looking this small versus a wide angle profession, wider, yeah. wider and brighter and nicer. So there's a lot of things that happen through the transaction, obviously, and that's the reason why you want to hire a professional, experienced agent to sell your house so you could gain the most money. And at the same time, even with the commission that you pay, you end up needing more, but you get to less uh, less a lot of work, less work because yeah. if you're doing it yourself as a oh personal owner, for example, you end up handling everything and also some of the disclosures and everything. So there's a lot, some of the things that you have to consider too. And then availability. The I mean, a lot of times for sale by owners are working, right? So yes. there are times during the day they can't show the house. So they get messages, but they're just unable to show the house. So having a professional mm -hmm. realtor who will be able to have access to your house at, at all times during the day can make your house visible for those buyers to come through. So yeah, this is some of the tips and obviously some of the things that we do in the back end to show you to get you the most exposure, the most money and net the most dollars. But obviously we offer a free market analysis to everybody sure. yeah. with no obligation, no cost. If you're interested to know how much your house could sell, you can send us an email, give us a call, and we'll be glad to offer a free market analysis of your property. Yeah, and we also sell houses around Metro Atlanta, not only in Dallas, Georgia, but right. we can also help sell your home outside of Georgia as well. We've got a network of professional realtors that we work closely with that can help sell your home as well. Yes, so it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're local here in Dallas, sure. again, or like Alan mentioned, all through Metro Atlanta, we could help you buy or sell. And we do have a strategy, being that now is a heavily selling market, we have a strategy when you sell to help to buy another property and give you get access to some of the properties that are in the market for sale yet also. All right, 
Don't forget to click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have another video on Dallas, actually a couple of videos, the pros and cons. And yes. we did discuss the city of Dallas, Georgia as well. And take a look at our video library. Don't, for click, don't forget to click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Take care.